Hi friends, this is Sue Betty from the Bluebird Tavern in Burlington, Vermont. TEND, Exploring the Vermont Foodscape, is a series of video postcards from the many farmers, cheesemakers, brewers, bakers, and other businesses that supply our restaurant with incredible local ingredients. This is a story about how dozens of creative and hardworking people are making a living by producing truly excellent regional products. How did you get into beer? Would you say in room about 16? I just did a little math. So oh, yeah. It was a, it was a high, school, <laughs> high school science fair project when I was 15 um, on fermentation. And then just and went then, from there? Yeah, what? and then, you know, worked worked for a while at the shed, worked at Trout River, um, and then moved to Denmark for the last two years and and was the, the head brewer at a couple of breweries in, in Copenhagen. There are kind of two different types of breweries. There are, are production packaging breweries and there are brew pubs. And, and brew pubs, uh, like the Alchemist, are, are notoriously uh, creative. They'll keep a few beers on tap at all times and then they have creative license uh, to just to be struck by imagination. Um, and I prefer working in brew pubs, but it, it wasn't really feasible with startup capital or given our location uh, to serve all of our beer on site. Um, actually, I think it is now. Uh, I think I could have pulled that off here. You wouldn't really imagine that, probably. But uh, we're we're pretty busy on Saturdays. Uh, we're selling about one batch of, or like half a batch of beer a week now, out of house, which is which is a lot for up which here. Which is a lot for a hill um, in Greensboro. <laughs> so we're uh, yeah, we're basically taking the brew pub mentality uh, and doing it as a packaging draft uh, brewery. Um, so we keep keep one beer in constant rotation, which is Edward, who was my grandfather, um, our American Pale Ale, uh, selling that to places like Bluebird Tavern on draft. And by, I guess, sheer coincidence, uh, the popularity of, of Edward, um, my grandfather, uh, allows us to be creative and do whatever we want. Um, so that's really the only beer that we that we brew on a regular basis. Uh, everything else is recurring themes, recurring seasonals, um, sort of different tangents into different ideas and uh, whatever particular flavor profile I've stuck in my head at, at one time. Um, so when, when we rebuild uh, the, big, the big barn and the big brewery, it'll be on the coattails of, of Edward. And what do you want people to know about, you know, the Hill Beer, or what do you kind of stand for, or what? Um, yeah, I mean, I stand for a lot of things, I guess, but, but on the spot, uh, we're just, we're just trying to make, make beer that's accessible, um, soft, elegant, uh, beer, beer in which the flavor profiles are succinct and in the right place. Um, you know, I think there, there are far too many beers that are not pleasant to drink that are that are infected or overcarbonated or uh, murky and harsh and astringent, um, you know. And we're, we're trying to make beer that that tastes the way a beer should. Bright. For example. Well, and I think that works a lot well at the restaurant. And at the, um, selling beer at restaurants sometimes it can be such a pal palate like deadener. I think with your beer, it's such a nice food beer, as well as drinking yeah. beer. Yeah, they're they're. I think they're all soft and the flavors are in the right place, um, which is probably maybe has something to do with my experience, but uh, I think it has as much to do with the water, uh, the, the well water here. Um, and for the last 10 years or so, this has kind of been my, my long-term vision and long-term goal, is to open, open a brewery on my family's ancestral farmland. My, my grandfather's dairy barn used to be where all these kegs and tanks are, uh, so the longer-term vision uh, that barn burned down the year before I was born, 1978. Um, the longer term vision is, is to, uh, to rebuild the structure there um, that's sort of reminiscent uh, of what was once there. Um, just trying to, trying to work with the landscape and, and my family's heritage and diversify the farmscape of, of this property uh, through value added beer.